hey y'all welcome back to the party it is me your girl Rit reacts and today we're gonna react to more of mama leanne this is i tried crossfit for 10 weeks this is not gonna end well but anyway i feel fat and um and, right I am, it. and it's my hormones i have no testosterone I went to the doctor, I had no testosterone, no progesterone. I have way too much estrogen, which evidently makes you bitter and angry and hateful. That's what my family says. I think they're bitter and hateful and angry. But it has messed up my weight and all that. Well, that and I've been eating white flour. But let me, Gluten. I have been on every diet in the world. I've done everything. I've done Whole30. I've done I've, South Beach. I can't even, I have done Weight Watchers. All right, I praise God that Weight Watchers doesn't have a limit on how many times you can join. Because I have joined join. Weight Watchers nine times and lost seven pounds <laughs> in all. Come to find out, you have to follow a program. Oh, Lord, Leanne. I know that, but I go because the meetings are funny. Oh, are there meetings like like AA meetings? I didn't know that. I my um, I have two family members that did Weight Watchers a while ago. I mean, I was like a preteen maybe, and but they like it's funny because I we talked about this recently. I was um, just telling them like I remember like that time and like visibly remember them looking so different and they told me like I thought they were sick like I was crying because I was like are you okay but they were just on Weight Watchers I didn't realize they were like meetings I just knew there's like a point system and I know they like have come they've like rebranded and like Oprah was their big spokesperson for a while um and now I think who have I seen doing is it Jennifer uh Hudson that's doing here goes my light again just being spooky while it's plugged in um Anyway, I didn't realize there were meetings. That's funny. Girl, get it together. Don't be doing that. It's plugged in and it's charged on 100%. Why? Why, why would you want to do that right now? Like, it, it's Monday, y'all. Um, anyway, ignore that and let's get back to this. I know that, but I go because the meetings are funny. And it's like, it's like going to a comedy club. It really oh, is. Lord. It's like AA, but it's for people who eat their emotions. And, I, and that's who I am. I eat my emotions. Like my husband would come home and the kids would be fighting and he'd say something like, what have you done all day? And I'd eat a hot dog and I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> well, I had to, to keep from drinking whiskey. I didn't it's, want to get it's like hooked that some on days. whiskey with little children. So, um, so I joined Weight Watchers so many times. And this last time, uh, Oprah bought it. And they had Oprah on TV, and she is twirling pasta on a fork and running through tall grass. And I thought, well, if she can do it, I can do it. Oh, Lord. No. So, um, no, Oprah is a billionaire no, and has a nutritionist for the night time. And but a chef. what the deal is, is they give you a point value on food. So, fruits and vegetables are free. <laughs> you know? It's like a toddler. I don't care, really. And like a piece of beef that's the size of a credit card. It's like five points or something like that. You don't want any of that. You're so hungry when you start that you could eat the wallpaper off the walls. You want a Snickers bar, but they're like 12 points. My sister goes, the way this woman adds syllables to think, points, 12 points. Like her mouth has to do extra work to get out the, the simple words, points, points. <laughs> I am obsessed with her like chest. It's ridiculously deep Southern accent. Points, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't. Snickers bar, but they're like 12 points. My sister goes on it every time I do, and she'll call me and she'll say, it's noon, and I've eaten all my points. <laughs> um, oh, y'all, I've done every kind of exercise in the world, and when I was y'all age, I was so gung-ho, and I wanted to go and do, and I wanted to be firm, 
in tone. And then one day I just said, I don't care. But, and that's a good feeling too. But when I was, y'all saying, John was big into CrossFit. Does she know everybody in the audience is not her age? Here? Ooh, I hope y'all don't end up in a boot. All right. Oh. It is bad mamma jamma. And they came to Knoxville, and they, these young boys in their early 20s opened boys. it up. And they were darling. And they both had little fannies that looked like baseballs. And I wanted, I wanted my fanny to look like a baseball. So I got my good friend Becky. Becky, Becky and I joined CrossFit together. For those of you who don't know, it's like military moves, push-ups, pull-ups, that kind of thing. They'd put a big tractor tire in the parking lot, and they'd set Becky in it, and I'd pull her across the parking lot. <laughs> Do you have to sign a waiver for CrossFit? I wouldn't step within two football fields worth of space near a CrossFit gym. Working out for me is just, I don't know if I'll, like, no. No, thank you. Get somebody else. You get what you get, folks. Bloopers and all. I, I, I'm just not doing it. You have to get somebody else to do it. But CrossFit looks like the most intense, painful, rigorous workout. And I have zero negative zilt interest. Like, I don't even understand. And the way she's explaining it is like, the the cartoon character version caricature version of what it actually looks like like no 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 and it's like one of those things I think any type of gym like hardcore gym person you have to be sold out and dedicated to this and I feel like if you are a crossfitter baby you are like you signed your life away to crossfit you are sold out I used to live near one and like <laughs> The liquor store was right across the street. <laughs> and every time I went to go get me a little sun sun, a little mommy juice, a little grown up juice, they were out there, child. They weren't worried about me. They were about that tire not rolling onto Roswell Road. Okay, if you know, you know in the ATL. <laughs> Tractor tire in the parking lot and they'd sit back in it and I'd pull her across the parking lot. That's While crazy. she held her purse. Well, these boys came to us one day and they said, hey, we're going to have a contest. No, immediately no. And whoever no. wins it gets three months of free training. And um, it's going to be uh, for the women and for the men. It's going to last 10 weeks. We're going to take your before and after picture. And then the whole gym's going to vote on whose body has changed the most. Absolutely. We were like, That's yes. a nightmare. That's so a one nightmare. day, we show up, didn't know it was picture day. I had on a horrible looking sports bra that had lost all of its support. And support. I should have bizzed it the night before. It had a gray tint to it and it really wasn't gray, it was white. And, and if I'd have known it was gonna be a picture day, I'd have gotten a spray tan. But anyway, we get, they said, take your top off to me and Becky, and they go, just leave on your sports bra and your spandex, and we're going to take your picture. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. And I didn't want those little boys to not ever want to marry and have children. So I said, Scar Becky, them. me <laughs> and you, we're going in the back. I said, I'm taking Becky's picture, and she'll take mine. So we went in the back. In the They're back room, and see Becky it. went. Oh. And I said, what are you doing, Becky? Don't you want to win this thing? I want to win it. So I took my spandex and shoved it under my stomach and went. <laughs> she wanted to look as bad as possible. Thank you. Oh, it was a sight. These kids put it on the internet. Cause that's what kids do. So if y'all Google it, and you see this poor woman with her head cut off with these two feed sacks. Oh, it was a sight. Feed but what sacks. they say, they go, okay, you're, and when I saw that, I thought, oh my gosh, you are what wow. you eat, and I look like a big bun, is what I look like. But they said, you're going to eat paleo, and it's what God put upon the earth to sustain us. Is that what the paleo diet is? It's like, sorry, y'all. The light flickering in my glasses is like creating some type of tension headache. Um, 
those are my blue light glasses anyway. I don't really need them. Anywho, off topic. Um, I've heard of paleo. I think I always get it mixed up with keto. Um, is that what paleo is though? It's like known as like you eat the fruits of the earth kind of thing. Huh. I'd be interested to try that just to try it. I'm not a, I eat f- clean enough. Do with that information what you will. I was just at the seafood boil last night. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but I like, we have pretty like healthy eating here. I don't cook very unhealthily at the house and the kids eat fruits and vegetables. Both of my kids love fruits and vegetables. Um, that feels like it wouldn't be so hard. I was pescatarian for three years. I feel like I could do that. Let me know. Hmm. I'm going to eat paleo, and it's what God put up on the earth to sustain us. So if you she can looks run so it down and kill it, dig it out of the ground, pick it off of a bush, you can eat it. So that's lean meats, fruits, vegetables, nuts, berries, and seeds. That's no grain, no grain, no dairy. When's the last time any of y'all ever got off of white flour? Anybody? Got off of like it was a drug. Oh, and you still can yell. <laughs> okay. Good for you. Great improv. Oh my gosh, I had the shakes. Becky and I both were shaking. We drank a bunch of coffee. Then we had to have our teeth whitened. Anyway, my husband said, you are so hateful. Will you please eat a piece of white bread? I mean, it was awful. I mean, I never, I, I mean, oh, how horrible if somebody had to get off a of heroin. I mean, and I don't know what that's like, but Can I you watched compare? when I was little, and I, I remember it being a booger when somebody had to get off a of heroin. A this booger. This felt similar. It may not- Her vocabulary is that of like a kindergarten teacher. It had to be a booger. Like, what? <laughs> this lady just compared getting off of flour to that of getting off of heroin. She referenced Shaft and she called a kerfuffle, a problem, an obstacle, a hard time, a booger. I'm obsessed with her. Please adopt me. Oh my God. Uh, but I watched Shaft when I was little <laughs> and I, I remember it being a booger when somebody had to get off of heroin. This oh, feels man, similar. This lady. It may not have been. Anyway, they took the after picture and I made sure I had a spray tan. Let me tell you that, honey, because a spray tan takes 12 pounds off of you. Anyway, I had a spray tan. I had on a really cute sports bra and spandex. And uh, I took mine, and I'm ashamed to tell y'all, but I won that thing. No. Because that before picture. Thank you. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> That y'all are giving me that love. I know y'all are thinking, what happened, Leanne? I don't know I'll what this what advertisement happened. is. I spotted a tortilla. That's what happened. Thank y'all so much for watching my special. Oh, look at her. Um, now, I need you to watch my entire special for 99 cents and then click it. And then I need you to watch more clips and then click it. And I don't <laughs> know what you're supposed to be clicking, but they tell the young people are telling me. I don't tell you to click it, <laughs> but just click it. <laughs> anyway, I... The at the end, I was like, "Oh, that baby's so precious." <laughs> oh, every time I watch her, I just like it's so nostalgic. Like I have teachers I grew up with that are like this lady dance teachers, like mom friend friends of my 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 friends, their mothers. Like she is just. She could probably cuss you out so biblically and politely and send you crying home. Like, oh, it's so good. Okay. All right. Anyway, I adore this lady. Uh, let me know about paleo. Uh, I probably won't ever try it, but I'm interested. And uh, go and have the day you deserve. Bye.